Ladies and gentlemen, this is an urgent video. It's time sensitive. I'm gonna talk about two things that we need to go over really quickly. And then uh, that's gonna be it. Number one, Tesla stock price. I'm gonna let you know what I think right away. It's gonna be about maybe 520 by Thursday this week. What you should do, how you should do it, why you should do what you should do. One, it's too late to buy option. You cannot buy Tesla option. Number one, you're gonna be wanting to sell a put. You must own at least 100 shares of Tesla if you are going to sell a put. When we look at the Tesla puts, currently it is closed market so we're not seeing the exact information that we need to so you'll see what I'm talking about tomorrow. At $461.99 the $460 Tesla put that expires November 20th is supposedly worth $52.65. I don't think that's realistic I think because the stock was pretty much at around 410 ish that's the number we need to look at for figuring out what you might be able to get for your put so if you sell a tesla put that expires on november 20th you should be able to get maybe uh 900 and at the 460 dollar mark so you're saying i think tesla will stay above 460 otherwise i'm willing to pay you the fact that it went below that so that you can recover the funds that you lost because of the stock price going down it's a risky play you can't guarantee that november 20 is friday it's not that far away so you can make a quick 900 dollars, but you have to own 100 shares of tesla to begin with so it's a very small play i would not do more than one contract do not do one more than contract I'm not a financial advisor. I don't know what I'm talking about. You're watching a video on YouTube. If you're going to sell a put, sell only one and you can even go down to a lower price, maybe down to the $400 price, the $410 price. If I look right now, you're only going to get maybe $100 or $200 for that put, but that's pretty much a guarantee, just money coming in. So you sell the put, you get $100, you're done, that's it. It's a nice $100, you didn't have to do anything for it. Part two, smart money. While everybody is hyping up around Tesla, this is what you need to be doing. You need to be looking at Beyond Meat. When we're looking at Beyond Meat, we're looking at the price that we think is the best contract to get. I'm looking at the $130 contract. I'm looking at the $125 contract, which means you've already got intrinsic value because the stock is at 127. And I'm also looking at the 135 contract. So comparing and contrasting between the 135 and the 125 contract, because that one is cheaper by about $335. You're getting a $10 difference in your strike for a $300 change in premium. That's definitely worth you going for the lower call option and having your intrinsic value already locked in. The dates that I'm looking at is November 20, 2023. Also, I want us to take a quick look at the options for January 21, 2022. The options that we're looking at from January 2023 and January 22 are about $1,200 cheaper, $1,230 to be exact, but that's, that's something that'll change throughout the day, don't worry about that. For this price difference, it is definitely worth going out the extra year to give Beyond Meat the benefit of the doubt to perform. If you believe Beyond Meat has the runway to perform like Tesla will be performing or has performed, is a perfect opportunity to get in. Don't waste your opportunity. It's something that if you if you believe you are gonna be doing good in, you should buy it now. At the end of the day, you know that you have a whole year to have your expectation to come true. If your expectation doesn't come true, you wait a whole year, you're losing about $1,200 to time decay. But if the stock does go up by even $10, then you're building all of that back in as intrinsic value. So you're not really gonna be losing any value as long as the stock goes up. So uh, that's something to think about. I would definitely consider Beyond Me. Why are we looking at the $125 strike? Well, when we look at the peak of Beyond Meat, I believe it was up at 180-ish. So from 125 plus $45 or $47 or whatever the number is that you wanna add up to, it's gonna be below the 180 marker. It's gonna be at the 175 marker, 180 marker, right about, right about. It's, it's gonna be in a sweet spot. Do we really believe Beyond Meat can't break through its cap? 
that's what your bet is. You're saying that I think Beyond Meat will do so well going into the future that it's going to blow through its cap and it's going to achieve new highs. And this is why you're buying this contract so that you can preserve 100 shares of Beyond Meat for yourself at $125 a share and you can execute the contract and buy it at $125. However, this contract itself will perform amazingly well if Beyond Meat does go to 180. If Beyond Meat achieves 180 in one year, you have to remember you still have time value and intrinsic value and volatility value in your contract. So volatility has gone up, time has gone down, but intrinsic has gone up. So your net benefit is huge. You have an opportunity to sell your contract, which you're buying for just under $5,000 for potentially way over $10,000. You might be able to sell your one contract for 15 or even $20,000. If Beyond Meat, let's say, goes to $200 a share, your contract will be worth at least at the very minimum on January 21 or January 20, 2023, $7,500 because your strike price is 125. So anything in between, if you get better, you're gonna be making money. You don't buy the contract to hold it to the end of the day with Beyond Meat. It's not that kind of a contract. What you want is to achieve the $200 call before then and to get out and to let somebody else ride their remaining risk to see if somebody else is gonna buy in. Maybe you're the one that sells the contract that helps a short cover. So that's what we're talking about. That's what we're thinking about. That's it folks, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. I hope this was a very good value added video. I know not a lot of people are interested in options. I know not a lot of people understand how these options work. That's why I'm going over these options. So right now it's a perfect time to sell a put in Tesla. If you wanna be safe, you can sell the $400 put. If you wanna be a little bit more of a risk taker and wild, you can do the $460 put in Tesla that expires on Friday. Whoever buys that is crazy because I don't think Tesla is going to come back to 460 this week. It's, it's not going to. They will lose whatever money they put into that option if they purchase it from you. You sell the put on Tesla and then you can uh, buy a contract for Beyond Meat. If you believe Beyond Meat's path and runway is somehow similar to the pathway for Tesla. Going over why Beyond Meat has a bullish call to it. Beyond Meat is working with McDonald's now on a private label type of deal. Beyond Meat is already in Burger King, is already in Del Taco, is already in a bunch of other restaurants. Beyond Meat is already in grocery stores. Beyond Meat has established brand dominance. Beyond Meat is just like Tesla. It's working on reducing price to offer the product at a lower price to its contracted vendors. And it's also going to be increasing its profit margin as it offers the product at a lower price to its contracted vendors, just like Tesla, except Beyond Meat has a dealership network is what we can call it. Del Taco is a dealership network for Beyond Meat. Kroger is the dealership network for Beyond Meat. Burger King is the dealership network for Beyond Meat. And McDonald's is the, in this case is an OEM. Beyond Meat is a tier one supplier. As a tier one supplier, Beyond Meat has an opportunity to profit immensely from the success of McDonald's selling its own non-meat products as meat products.